Definitely did not wake up this morning thinking I was gonna do this. <laughs> Cutting these dreads off. I'm gonna cut them off first. And when my friend gets here a little bit later, he's gonna help me shave my head. You know, there's no going back once I do this one. <laughs> once I cut one, I gotta cut them all. Uh, here we go. Make sure that I wanna do this. <laughs> so here we go. Do it. Here goes one. <laughs> one Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Oh, that one's a little bit longer than the other ones, Mike's head. Another one. Three Mississippi. Definitely did not wake up this morning thinking I was going to do this. <laughs> Four Mississippi. Oh, that one. That one came apart mighty easily. Back there again. I'm sure the other ones will do the same. Just got to pull them apart a little bit. Michael has had dreadlocks since he was homeless in 2011. Times are changing. See, nothing lasts forever. The sooner you accept that fact, the easier life will be for you. And they are beautiful dreadlocks, I'll give them that. They've served me well over the years. But, I just turned 32. I'm gonna turn 33. I'm gonna be ready with a fresh set. Fresh set dreadies. Something that'll last me 10 years. His plan is to cut these dreads to replace them with a healthier set. As I cut these dreads away, I also cut away all the mistakes I've made. Because I've learned from those mistakes over the past years. But this next year I want to be a, a year of rebirth. Starting fresh. Not bringing the past with me. <laughs> Learning and growing from what the past made me to him now. Without any emotional or mental attachment to these material things that I'm not attached to. I'll get dreadlocks again, of course. But I'll be doing it differently next time around. Man, these, these dreadlocks are beautiful, though. Look at these things. I think next time around I'm going to wash my dreads more often. See that right there? This dandruff build up inside of it. So next time, I'm gonna wash, wash my head a little bit more often. A memento for the time being. Maybe make them into a hat. <laughs> Just to play pretend. <laughs> when I meet new clients, they're like, oh. <laughs> Last time I did my dreadlocks, you know, I gave myself dreadlocks because, you know, it felt right, but at the same time, I, I did it for a certain look that I, that I was going for. But this next time, I want, I want the creation of my dreadlocks to, to mean something to me more than just hair. Michael sees this process as a ceremony of growth and rebirth. This next time around, I want to, I want it to be the, the foundation of a new era in my life new stage my personal development all right Woo. it's tender okay so i'm counting real quick because i'm curious two three any guesses on how many dreads michael has cut off his head shower, I'll clean my head, we'll see what it looks like. And here we go, check it out, did a decent job, yeah. looks like I'm a little bit balding because <laughs> I pulled out some hair, <laughs> but I think it turned out pretty good. Michael looks so different after cutting off all of his dreadlocks, it's, it's hard to believe that he's even the same person. 99 dreadlocks is a lot to cut off in one session. And to say that they've been with him for over seven years. And did we catch that he woke up not expecting to do this? That is quite the impulsive decision, but one we can respect as it is done so with the hope for change and rebirth in himself. We wish Michael all the best. As always, thank you for watching Happiest. If you liked this video, then please be sure to follow our Instagram and TikTok pages for more videos like this. And of course, if you have any of your own stories that you'd like to share with us, 
be sure to send them in.